Hey everybody, this is the Lego Jurassic Park Triceratops Research set. It comes with 281 pieces, and I built this in the company of all the longtime YouTube viewers who have joined me over on the Twitch side, on my Twitch channel, and you're invited too. This cost me $50 US, five zero, and if you see a view products link somewhere in or around the video, you can click that to see some places you can buy it. You can also check out my affiliate link in the description. This one has two minifigures, a fully operational Ford Explorer, the new version of Triceratops, uh, and a big pile of poop. That's right, Lego's favorite thing these days, poop. Well, at least it's movie appropriate and it gets the frog reference in <laughs> that's needed for each of these sets. And for a little bit of realism, you can take the top off and see what the animal had been eating. Honestly, it's wonderful to see this Triceratops mold return. And it's in, I don't know if it's a realistic color scheme at all, but at least it's a color scheme that's compatible with the one that we saw in Jurassic Park itself. So you got the medium nougat and then just a regular reddish brown with dark brown and medium nougat colored accents and um, uh, markings on the, on the print. If you're not familiar with this, uh, it's dual molded for the head. So the horns are actually a softer bit all three, including the beak there, it's, a, it's dual molded in, so they're not too hard and, and dangerous. They're also not too pointed, and this is able to move its head all the way down, you know, get the beak all the way down to the ground, look up just ever so slightly, turn side to side like so, and it also has articulation in individual legs, which is good because you can get it into, into a, a motion pose if you want to, and you can do that in different ways. It also has anti-studs on the undersides, of the the pads there so yeah you know, it's about all i think about all you could reasonably ask for uh, can't really put it into a laying down pose effectively can't do anything with the tail but that i think that's fine given just how thick and stubby it is so all in all i am completely satisfied with this and we just need ever more herbivores stay go next please the complete Ford Explorer build here is not exactly the same as in the Collector's Jurassic Park uh, T-Rex uh, attack, was it? Or was it Escape? You know, the, 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 the big wide diorama model. This does not have the same build as the fully built one in that, but it's completely compatible. So ex exterior dimensions are the same, proportions are the same, and you can put it in into the scene and it, it looks correct because it is. And it uses, once again, the printed hubcap pieces, which are really nice. Everything else for decorations is done with stickers unless it's done with genuine building. I'm very happy with these, except the tires are too low in profile. I think the wheels are pretty good. Uh, the whole thing works well, I think, for for lego the six wide size i think is appropriate lots of nice detail for the bull bar up front got the light here the observation top on it it's easy to take all of this off get full access to the interior where you're able to put at least four figures on the inside which is fantastic no opening doors here but it's a fine compromise in my opinion you got the the map that shows up there and a fair number of stickers, but I feel like they're all very important given that this was a liveried up thing in universe and you, know, you want to have all that. They, they did try, the designer did try to make as much as reasonable, as reasonably possible, um, you know, built in actual color of plastic. So the yellow is done really nicely. It's integrated well and everything. So yeah, just generally, I think this is about as good as I could ask for. And most importantly, it doesn't change the formula, so it's still compatible with the last set that had something like this, and I think that is critically important. The minifigs look good to me. You got the dirty variant of the torso print for Ellie Sattler there, and on the right, Ian Malcolm is keeping things clean. The, the skin print, the skin tone is not as good as it should be. Obviously, that should be the same color as, well, the, the, the skin, like the face and, and the hands, so they're still not getting prints right all the time. Case in point, these down here for the shorts, the color for skin is not right. It's pale. And then you turn around just a little bit and you know, it's not printed around the side. It's not dual molded. So it looks awkward and might as well just, <laughs> I don't know, not how to print at all. Cause it just kind of detracts a bit to, to me. Lego hasn't really found the the formula for those underneath here, alternate face, alternate face. This is good. Yep, and I think both of those are appropriate. I appreciate the, the subtlety of this one, not just with the mouth, but also the eyebrows and the asymmetry of it. That's good. 
These are the only leftover parts and the sticker sheet probably is bigger and a little bit more involved than you would typically expect for a set with this number of pieces. But again, I feel like these are appropriate for the vehicle. All right, so this was $50 US, five zero. It's 53 euros, 47 pounds UK, and 65, I believe it was 65 uh, dollars Canadian. And you know, that's obviously, it's a, it's a lot of money for something that's not all that big, but realistically, this today would probably, unfortunately, this would like the, the figures would be like a $25 set. Uh, I would much prefer it be 20 at the most, but just the climate that we're in economically and financially and everything, it's just, yeah, for how, for how much stuff is here, it would probably be like a $25 set, which I don't like. Um, and then the side build is nothing. <laughs> So let's call it 25 with the figures and the side build. Then I'll be more, I'll feel more comfortable. So that leaves you with $25 for this, which honestly is about where we're at. And honestly, it's about where we've been at with medium large dinosaurs for, for a while. In the, in the $20 US ish range in terms of the, the cost to consumers that's added to a set. So uh, honestly, this isn't that overpriced on on paper and it just really comes down to whether you feel that it is overpriced i i don't think that there's any great injustice that's been done here price wise fundamentally though it's a good set this is good this is very good the figures uh, they're, they're pretty good too in the side build you know it is what it is so i don't really have that much to say about it i just no major complaints I, again i like the tires to be higher profile but the fact that this matches the uh, you know the the big display set from last year is right it's correct it's what they needed to do so thank you for watching form your own conclusions and i'll talk to you again soon